Five deadlock tips you need to rank up. I've been playing deadlock nonstop since it's come out, and I'm gonna teach you all the different things I've learned so far. First tip, there's three different ways you can use her alt. The first one is like this, with a straight line tunnel that you can trap them in, and then get that kill. The second way is bouncing your alt off of a surface, and then trapping them inside of this big dome, like this. This one is easier to land because the dome is a bigger size, so that's your best chance of hitting an ult. What you didn't know about Deadlock is her ult has a maximum range of 40 meters, okay? So if you point and shoot this ult, and you see right here, I'm just in range, which is 40 meters, right? If I shoot this, it'll stop right on that ping. Even though it says it's gonna bounce, it indicates it's gonna bounce, it's not going to bounce including the bounce's radius is 40 meters and this is the useful thing you can use to capture a lot of people with your ult so let's say you're pushing bind a short you have your smoked off here you can literally ping back sight like this so let's say a spot right here you can pull your ult out and just shoot it because look it'll land right on top of killjoy because the end of the ult's 40 meter radius is right back triple so instead of having to worry about bouncing or doing anything special you can just ping 40 meters away and shoot your ult and get kills tip number two here's how to effectively use these trip sensors in in your games okay so the basics to how it works is if you step into anywhere in this blue box making any sort of noise it will go off what a lot of people don't know is you could actually shift walk past this sensor completely for free so you have to be careful it will not hold the flank another thing you have to be careful about is where you put this sensor at what height if you put it too high you could crouch below it like this shoot your gun and not get caught but if you were to stand up and shoot then it will go off so you have to be careful what height you put the sensor at this is what you didn't know about the sensor you have to be strategic with where you place these so you place this short knowing that the enemy team is going to run up but if a jet or raise runs up and goes past it this will not hit them at all so you want to be more careful with how you place these with that being said instead of putting your sensor here you're going to want to put your sensor where it's not going to get wasted so you're going to want to put one here with a jet and raise like dash satchel towards and then another one in sight here for when they run in so instead it'll look something like this the jet will go in and dash in and then they're going to get hit by the sun and then you could peek them from u-haul and get that kill right tip number three what you didn't know about the grab net how this grab net works is when you throw the grenade at someone, they get forced to crouch and they move very slowly, okay? But there's no sound indicator for you hitting them whatsoever. Where the sound indicator comes from is where you throw the grenade and when they pull it off, listen. No matter where you are on the map, if that person gets hit and they pull that net off, you'll be able to hear it across the map. So what you didn't know is a lot of people think you can use this grenade to clear corners, but if they don't pull the net off, it won't make any noise and they could just sit in that corner and then wipe out your entire team. So be careful. Number four, did you know you can use your wall to boost on top of surfaces and get off angles? So all you have to do is pick any corner like this one here. And you want to aim directly across from where that corner is not left and not right but directly across like this you want to throw your wall down and right before the wall is about to expand you spam jump so like this and then you spam jump and then you're able to get on different boxes like this and now you have this off angle and you could do this absolutely anywhere this box this box here's another wall spot you can do right here and keep in mind you're probably gonna want to go into a custom game and practice this because it's kind of hard to land sometimes as you can see right here, I just messed it up. Look at that. We got up. It just takes a little practice, so go into a custom game and try it out. For tip number five, the grab net grenade has the exact same throw as Killjoy Mollies, KO Mollies, and the Viper Orb. So check this out. Both Mollies will land at the exact same distance so all the lineups work the same and lucky for you i have killjoy molly lineup videos for every single map every single spot you could possibly want a grenade lineup for i have so the link for that will be in the description if you want to check all of that out and speaking of lineups for the last tip you have to be very very careful this grenade does not pull people off defusing the bomb or planting the bomb since they're already crouched it will hit them and it will make them stay but it will not stop them from planting or defusing the spike so be careful with that but you can still use the lineups to throw and then peek getting you a kill while they're trying to defuse to help you out for more deadlock tips make sure you guys subscribe and have an amazing day